Thank you and welcome to the Jaguar Technology Group Cine and Photo YouTube channel. Uh, we are going to do a quick unboxing of the Nikon C9 which just arrived from B&H. Uh, order on the first day came out but uh, it was back order. Uh, since I'm not an NPS member, uh, it just arrived uh, uh, earlier. I think this is the second or third batch uh, which was supposed to be out March 5th but I got it earlier, uh, today is March 25th, 2022. So this video will mostly be incorporating the items that came in with the Z9, connecting the lens to the Z9, setting quickly the basic settings to start taking pictures, and number two, uh, working with the Nikon application to transfer the files either to your phone or to your computer. Most people will do it to the phone with their with their app. We'll start unboxing the Nikon C9. Uh, obviously, we got the manual, the user manual uh, in Spanish or in English. Probably the warranty documentation with the serial number of the Okay, it comes in two parts. We'll first open this one. Previously, like the Nikon belt. La, looks like the charger, USB Type-C. Uh, looks like the famous brackets for the video on the side. Uh, Type-C to USB uh, 3.0. I guess the charges stand. And obviously, uh, previously, this is the uh, AC adapter for the charging stand. Close that off. Obviously, in this compartment should be the uh, Z9 itself. Uh, quite thick, well protected for, uh, for transportation. Feels a little heavier than the Canon R5 that I have, which is being recorded right now. If you can see it. Obviously this thing's not charged yet, or the battery not inserted. And I miss. Right here is the battery. Let me see if I can pull closer the uh, camera so you guys can see it. you now with the unboxing gonna install the battery so you have to remove the battery holder uh, which is on the bottom of the Z9 I guess that's the way it comes then you need to connect to it there's only one way it looks like it's magnetic there's the lock to unlock it if you want to remove it we're going to insert it now. Looks like it has a cover. Yep, it does. So make sure you take off the white cover before inserting the, the battery. Alright. Insert it. Twist the thing to lock it in. 
I don't know if it has any juice. Uh, so we're gonna find out. So here's a power on bun. It does have not much. So we're gonna charge it. Looks like it came with one quarter battery charge. And if you guys can see it, where it is. All right, let's turn it off. And let's charge it for a while. We'll be back. All right, let's quickly for those people that are new. When you get the uh, charger to charge it, here's the connector. Slide it in. Should pop up. This is just to illustrate the connectivity to the battery charger. Now, while the battery charger charges the battery, uh, and we have a, maybe a little 50% uh, better, we're gonna unbox also the Nikkor Z 7200mm uh, F2.8 VRS lens that I got for it. I didn't wanna get the default that comes with the package since <coughs> I'm gonna buy the 2.8 of that model instead of the F4 version that usually comes packaged with the C9. Obviously we got the little uh, cover or carrying case I guess you want to call it. Well it's well protected with the foam. Another protection from the side. Similar to the other one. Uh, we have uh, the warranty registration with the model number and serial number. The manual. We'll take out the uh, box, the lens, the 7200. Very nice. Doesn't feel that heavy. Uh, similar, a little heavier than the uh, 7200 for my Canon R5. But it's not bad. Let's take off the, uh, the hood for the lens. Well, the cover of the lens. This is uh, the proper hood. You have to align it. So put the cover where the pull down is to the dot in front of the thing. Once you have it down, move it counterclockwise. So you hear the snap. You see the circle with the dot from the lens. And then you probably have the hood set up on the Nikkor 7200 2.8. So there, you have a quick unboxing of the uh, Nikkor 7200 2.8 lens that's going to be used with the um, Z9. We're going to illustrate now how to connect the uh, the new C Core uh, 7200 lens to the Nikon C9 body. You're going to remove the front lens cover from the C9, you move it from the position clockwise. Make sure you have the cover uh, closed. If not, uh, just do this quickly. Now from the lens itself, on the C Core 7200 2.8S, remove the uh, lens cap from the back, same way. From the position here it is, you're gonna move it from the lock position to the white dot on the lens and point it, the bore of a line, then you can remove. All right, so now you take your camera and you align the circle dot and the white dot on the, line, on, the uh, on the camera. Once it's locked, you move it from 
the current position uh, counterclockwise into the dot is in front of the Nikon logo. Now it's locked. To make sure, I obviously remove the cover of the hood on the lens. Out. Turn your C9 on. You should be able to see something. And you can see that. Obviously your lens is connected and you have a visual representation of what you're looking at through the lens or the LCD panel. And we're going <clears> to <throat> install the memory card. It has a lock mechanism. You want to hold it down. Hold it down. Push it from, uh, from uh, to the back to open it. It has two. We're going to put a, a card. Hold it down. Press it in. Now it's locked. All right, we're going to turn it back on with the on and off switch. Here is the on and off. I'll try to get it closer so you can see it. What you want to do, you want to go to the menu once you inserted the memory card. You want to go to format the memory. It's on the wrench on the format memory. Select it by pressing OK. Mine's in slot 2. You can go down with the menu here or you can touch it. You want to say yes. It's formatted. You want to set the language. Our case is English. Now you have on this particular model uh, Spanish and French. Time zone. This was set by London time. You want to change the time to to negative 5, which will be for New York, Toronto, Lima, which is where we are. Eastern time, Florida. Day in time. Uh, the year, the month, the day. It's a military time, so you want to put the, uh, in our case it's 531, so you want to add the, um, uh, the 12 plus 5. Press OK. Day format. Uh, yeah, I want a year, month, day. So it's easier to uh, workflow. You can use that to sort it, folders or fixtures quicker. And you press menu back to go back. Alright, so that's the basics of that. And then you can quickly already take a picture. You heard that sound? Now you can go back to the uh, menu play here and you can see your pictures. All right, I do recommend that once you have uh, set up the basic settings, the language, the time zone, the day and time, once you set up that, format your car. Uh, it is a CF car, uh, Type B, that you want to format it once you have the stream and you know you can take pictures quickly. I recommend you upgrade the firmware. The best way to upgrade uh, the firmware on your Nikon Z9 is to go to the Nikon uh, website, uh, either Nikon USA in my case, download the firmware, copy it to a memory card. Once you extract the firmware file, copy it to the uh, memory card. Uh, Insert it. In this case, mine is a CF. Uh, once you insert it, turn on the uh, camera. You want to go into the menu. You want to go to the wrench, all the way on the bottom, where it says firmware version. You want to select where it says update. Say OK. And it tells you what the current version is and what the new one is. So since I already previously upgraded the firmware, uh, it doesn't show the old one, but it is the same procedure. So once you, you're ready, you say OK. And that's basically, this is the best way so you don't have any issue. You could have done it with a snap bridge. It does detect uh, when there's a firmware upgrade for the particular camera you're using. Uh, but it requires some additional options that might not be available or you will not be able to set quickly. So the best way and the uh, method that is more stable of upgrading the firmware is to use that. The copy the file, copy it to the memory card, insert the memory card, go to the menu on the wrench or the firmware version, 
select it and select update and once you're ready say okay be aware this takes about 10 minutes so around it could be a little less but um, you know leave it alone until it process itself it will restart itself and, and be ready when we have done all the procedure on your mobile device in my case an android you want to go into the application program or the uh, play store to download the app once you go to the play store you want to look for nikon camera apps one of those will show the particular one you want is called the snap bridge which i i know works correctly on this through wi-fi all right so we're going to click install i mean obviously yours might take longer than that but once it says open you want to say allow about the snow bridge downloading a probably download a new version of the product all right you want to accept the three options say start we want to turn it off turn it well turn it back on go into the menu system you want to go to the uh, little uh, icon the yellow icon that has like a world with circles you're going to click on the connect smart device Make sure it's Wi-Fi connection is on, and it's uh, once you turn it on. Let's close it so you can see it. So when you turn it back on, you want to say establish Wi-Fi connection. So obviously, recommend you change the password. Uh, the building alphanumeric, uh, the building numerical one. Sometimes it was not working, so. I went inside, changed the password, uh, make it alphanumeric, uppercase, you know, standard method, and alphanumeric. So it's gonna wait for there. So we're gonna just leave the the camera so I can show you. We're gonna go to the newly installed SnapBridge application. We're gonna open it up. Connect to camera. You since it's, the camera is already waiting for the connectivity. You, in this particular case, ours is C9. Yours might change. You can do a pair by Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, but I recommend just let's try this one. So it wants you to go to find the the Wi-Fi SSID. When we're looking for mine, as you can see, it is the same thing. Nikon C9 086. We're going to select that. It says connecting. All right, it requires the password, so we're going to put the password that's being illustrated to me. I'm going to say connect. Should establish a communication. Well, obviously, no internet, but now we can go back to the snap bridge. That's all you should get. And Wi-Fi connect, connect to camera by Wi-Fi. We can see if we can take remote control of the camera. Let's put it from manual. Let's put it back to the automatic, which is programming. And make sure you take off the hood. All right. So as you can see, once you take out the, you can zoom in, take a picture there. Now you have a picture taken and there you are so all your pictures that you take or if you want to download the options up up to you if you took a picture you can say it's download let's select that one as an example you're gonna press download to make a picture of original format let's say original format and there it is you're downloaded you can go back you can click on the download menu option and go back to remote photography. And there you go. With the snap bridge, you can control the uh, the camera and it works correctly with the mobile device. Uh, there is, a, in my case, using a PC desktop with the um, Wi-Fi capability to connect does not work perfectly. Uh, and then the manual mostly states uh, uh, I recommend you use a, uh, a cable or connect by LAN and that's basically 
you're technically done using your uh, snap bridge and your mobile device is this this is the quick setup just to start using the camera quickly and again well and thank you for uh, coming in to the Yawar technology group uh, Cine and Photo uh, YouTube channel and I'll see you later if you like the video put a check mark and uh, subscribe thank you